We feel nice. We feel nice. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Mishka. I created my own natural hair products line. The brand is called Juno's Curls. So in today's video, I'll be showing you how I use the Honey Green Tea Deep Conditioner. Um, I have two versions of the Honey Green Tea Deep Conditioner on the website. I have one with light protein and I have one with uh, without protein because a lot of people are protein sensitive so the one with a protein has more honey yeah so I'm just gonna share with you how I use the honey green tea deep conditioner for a scalp treatment and also to deep condition my hair in today's video I started off by showing you guys um, unraveling my hot oil treatments where I use my 5 oil fusion hair growth oil that's also available on my website as well. So the honey green tea deep conditioner I use it also as a scalp treatment because it has a lot of honey in it and I have eczema. I have very sensitive scalp so I like to put it on my scalp because it makes my scalp feel so much better when I have um, when my eczema flares up yeah so I love to put it on my scalp because in the deep conditioner as the name states it's called honey honey deep conditioner and it has honey in it and honey is a natural healing humectant when you put it on your skin it helps to heal and soothe your irritated skin so i love to use it on my scalp just like that so i apply it onto my scalp and i leave it on for like 30 minutes or so or if i feel like sometimes i even leave it overnight on my scalp yeah, so I love to do those extra pamper treatments to my scalp and to my hair. I just love it. I love it. Now, the Honey Green Tea Deep Conditioner also has neem. Neem is also great as an antibacterial remedy. It can definitely cleanse the scalp and soothe the scalp as well. So I think this deep conditioner is perfect for persons that have sensitive scalp and want to do that extra treatment for their scalp and their hair. Just to let you guys know, I really want to let you guys know that all of my products are handmade. I created all of my products by myself. I taught myself how to create these products to get them perfect so persons with natural hair would be able to use them and to have an easier time with their natural hair. Um, these products are handmade and created with so much love so your, your hair can grow and flourish and be healthy. I put a lot of work in these products. I tested them, tested all of them out just to make sure that they could help naturals out there. So uh, hopefully you guys will love them whenever you get the chance to purchase them. In my previous video, I reviewed the green tea, the green tea and African black soap shampoo. So if you guys want to check out um, the shampoo, I'll definitely link that video in the description box below. And then the video before I did the 5 oil fusion hair growth oil. I'll also link that in the description box below. So let's talk a little bit about the honey green tea deep conditioner. In this video, I am using the honey green tea deep conditioner. I think this one is the one without protein, but both formulas are the same. The one with protein and without. The formula is same, except one is without protein and one is with extra honey for extra moisture. Our honey green tea deep conditioner has the best ingredients to repair and grow your hair. I use the best ingredients, guys. I researched and I tested out and I ensured that all of the ingredients that I was putting into this product would be beneficial for your hair and also my hair. This deep conditioner has a lot of slip. The first time around when I created it, when I tested out this deep conditioner, it didn't have a lot of slip. So I had to reformulate it and ensure that it had 
optimal amount of slip for us naturals because wash day we need to make wash day as easy as possible when it comes to detangling our hair so i ensured that it had a lot of slip now when i had my baby um nine months ago um i had a lot of postpartum shedding and some of the ingredients that would be great for postpartum shedding or shedding in general is green tea um green tea shea butter the neem powder is great as well in, in encouraging hair growth but the green tea let me tell you it helps to reduce shedding a lot it prevents hair loss and that's why i created this line and i call it the honey um the green tea line so um my hair has improved a lot let me just say i don't have any shedding um as crazy as how i normally do no my hair is strengthened and it feels so much healthier and i try to wash my hair every week just to repair it since i had terrible postpartum shedding if you have damage here it, let me tell you if you're not deep conditioning you need to deep condition let me just say if you want to repair your hair and start growing your natural hair start deep conditioning your hair you need to start that because that's what's going to repair your hair and prevent it from being damaged natural hair thrives the best when it has that deep conditioning routine because it's infusing moisture and strength into your hair for it to grow easier so start okay so i want to show you guys how to properly deep um deep condition your hair so your hair can repair if it's damaged or you know it needs that extra love i mean every wash day this is what you're supposed to do so i'm using my honey green tea deep conditioner um this is how it looks here has lots of slip instead of applying your deep conditioner like this like this no this is not the right way if you just apply it and leave it like that that's not the right way so you can apply the product and leave it like that because if you part your hair like this inside of your hair did not receive the product at all so you want to section your hair section it in four and then still section it in smaller sections so you can better apply the product so that's what i'm gonna do you always step on the phone as if you're a business woman i love to share with you guys the reason why i came up with my natural hair products and I say time and time again, this is because I have sensitive scalp and I also have eczema. So back in the day when I used to buy, I used to buy hair products like crazy people. I tested out all sorts of products and I noticed the products that gave me um, the most trouble were the products that had too many ingredients. They had so many ingredients and when I use certain products, they would flare up. I would wash my hair today, use their product, and then tomorrow my scalp would be a lot of itchiness, a lot of profuse buildup. I used to get some jumbo scalp on my scalp. Listen, I wish I had taken a lot of pictures of how my scalp used to be. I never used to share it a lot on my channel because I, I was, I don't know, it wasn't something I was proud about. Um, when my scalp used to have those thick scabs on it Yeah, I wasn't proud about it. So I didn't really share it I didn't take a lot of picture because I felt really embarrassed and I didn't know how to solve this problem But I finally solved it. It's using too many ingredients and using the wrong ingredients um, In my hair and on my scalp now some of the products that would give me the most trouble was the products with um like if i use edge control those were the ones that would give me the most trouble and gels i would get such big scabs on my scalp it's crazy so i thought the simpler the product is and the when you choose the right ingredients your hair is gonna thrive your scalp is gonna be healthy and that's how your hair is gonna grow now in this clip clip i decided to add water to my hair so that's another tip when you're doing your deep conditioning routine make sure to add water to your hair make sure your hair is soaking wet so the product can go through your hair easily and you're gonna be using less product when your hair is soaking wet 
so this is how my hair is looking it felt so soft i love how it felt now it's gonna be time to style it i'm gonna be using the honey green tea moisturizer and that's gonna be in another video i hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one